Hi guys, hope you are doing incredibly well. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this from. So I wanted to talk to you about something that I've been finding out over my time in the service accommodation business. So I wanted to talk to you about scams. Now I know that sounds a little bit dramatic and that was the point. I wanted to talk to you about what's going on in the market, especially if you are new into service accommodation. So there are a number of scams that happen in this business. So I'll just walk you through two of the major ones and how you can protect yourself from falling victim to some of these scams. So scam number one is what we call the Airbnb scam. So what typically happens is you are looking for a property to start or grow your service accommodation business. And one of the main places you're going to look is on Rightmove, Zoopla. And most people end up looking at places like Gumtree which is an incredible platform when you are looking for landlords directly. Now this is where a lot of the scam actually takes place. You meet someone through Gumtree and they send you a message to say, okay, I like your proposal. I'm happy for you to use my property for whatever means you want to use it for. However, I am a doctor living in the Netherlands. However, I have a property in central London, always central London. It's in a great location. If you do your analysis, you would find out that that typical type of property usually rents for about £2,000 per month or more. But they say they're willing to rent that property to you for £1,500 or something absolutely crazy, which you hadn't even negotiated for. So that should be red flag number one. So part of the scam then goes on to say, I'm a doctor, I'm an artist, I'm something, which means I'm never in the country. So I'm out of the country. So that's what they're trying to lead you to believe, that they're not in the country, therefore, the next part of the scam would make sense. So, hi, you want to rent my property, I'm not in the country, however, I'm happy for you to rent my property at this price, as long as, two conditions, you pay for the property through Airbnb. So this is where it gets a bit tricky, because what they're asking you to do is to rent a property significantly below market value through Airbnb. So it means once they start their stay in Airbnb, Airbnb will pay them that money and then they say to you that you can pick up the keys because they send the keys to you or you can pick up the keys in the local post box or they've hidden it under the stair mats. But essentially what they're saying is you rent their property from them, you make the payments to rent the property through Airbnb, but the scam is Airbnb will pay them out that money for the stay and they're not able to meet you because they're not in the country and you will get the keys later on. That's not true, that's not going to happen and you should run away if you get an Airbnb um, notification to, to rent a property through Airbnb. Second scam, it's uh, the check scam. So let's imagine you've got your service accommodation, things are going well and I've had this happen to me a number of times through companies like Owners Direct and Home Away, but it happens across all the other messaging platforms that you get the chance to message back and forth. So the scam's really simple. They say, hi, I'm coming from Ukraine, I'm coming from Russia, I'm coming from far away, and um, my company is paying for it. So what I've done is I've taken the liberty of sending you out a check. I've sent you out a check. Number one, one of the reasons why you should always ignore it or never pay attention to this is because on the booking platforms, on the OTAs, you are not permitted to take bookings in such a way because of course the OTA miss out on their commission. So they don't encourage for you to transact outside of the platform because you have no protection. So the scam is very simple. They say, we've sent you a check. It's not, I'm going to send you a check. We've sent you a check and it's going to arrive sooner rather than later. Kindly let me know when you receive the check. But what tends to happen is their stay is in between the time the check is due to arrive. So it means they've told you that they've paid you for it and they turn up to your apartment. You let them stay in your apartment, but the check is always delayed. So they'll say, my company sent you a check or I've sent you the check. I'm going to stay in your apartment. Don't worry, the check is going to arrive sooner rather than later. You trust them. They stay in your apartment and then they've disappeared. So that's one part of the check scam. The second part of the check scam is something that I've experienced recently. So someone said the same thing, I've sent you a check, however, I've mistakenly added an extra 800 or 900 pound to the check. 
and they physically sent me out a check. So the value of the booking was for 1,600. They sent me a check for, let's say, 2,300 or 2,400. And what they said is, when I, if I, once I bank the check, I should send them over the balance. Now, of course, the check is never going to clear. But what a lot of people would then do, and what they're hoping a number of people would do is, you would pay up the money in advance, the difference, the £800 difference in advance of them arriving or before you banked the cheque. That's what they were pleading for me to do. And they said, hi, listen, we're running short on money because we've mistakenly sent you an extra £800 in this cheque. Would you be able to pay us the £800 so that it helps with our journey? And some people will fall foul to that. And I don't want you to fall foul to that. I'll catch you soon. Mm -hmm.